So we can use a really uh, kind of an interesting thing. When our data, when our distribution of our data looks like this, such that it has this really nice looking bell shape. Um, and a lot of distribution actually kind of looks like this. If we look back here, these two distributions don't look too unlike a bell shape. You know, they kind of look like a bell. It's not super hard to imagine. Um, <clears throat> what we can say is that if we go, uh, if we find ourselves at the sample mean, and we go down one, two standard deviations, and we go up from the mean two standard deviations, one, two, then what's going to, what's going to happen is that in this middle part here, that's going to co collect roughly 95% of our data. So 95% of, of the data in a distribution will be between two standard deviations below the mean and two standard deviations above the mean if the distribution looks roughly like a bell shape. And you maybe have another name for this. You might have uh, heard of it called the normal distribution. And that's correct. That is sort of what we're talking about here. We're talking about a normal distribution. But for the moment, you can just think about it as a bell shape. So if your data looks roughly like this, and I do want to say roughly, right? Because our data is never going to look like this. This is a theoretical distribution. But if your data roughly looks like this, if you go down two standard deviations and up two standard deviations, that area in the middle, that contains about 95% of the data. So let's estimate that here. Um, let's see if we can estimate both the standard deviation and the mean. And this is, again, going to be the penguins data. But this time now, we've also thrown in the Adele, Adeli penguins, I think is what they're called. Um, so this has the chin strap, the Gen 2s, and the Adeli penguins in here. <clears throat> and so this is the body mass of all those penguins. Now, if you're looking at this, you might be like, ah, I don't know. This kind of looks like it's uh, skewed. And I think that that's okay. I could imagine how you might look at this and say, well, maybe it looks a little like that. So maybe it has a little bit of a right skew. But I don't think it's a gross violation. I don't think it looks too skewed. I think it, you know, maybe, maybe if you imagine we put a little bell shaped curve over it like this. Yeah, there's these values here that definitely don't fit a normal distribution. But if we want to just sort of humor it, um, for, for this example, and we want to say that it looks roughly uh, normal. From here, we can estimate the mean, uh, and then we can estimate the standard deviations. So how do we estimate the mean? Well, if the distribution is symmetric, we want to find the center point. Oops. We want to find the center point. So if it's the center point, if it's roughly symmetric, the mean is going to be at the center. So maybe the mean is about 4,400. So we'll say that that's our, our sample mean. <clears throat> so now how do we estimate the standard deviation? All right, well, we know that if we collect roughly 95% of the data, that is going to mean that that whole width is going to be four standard deviations. And how do I mean that? Well, remember down here, we, went, uh, we were one standard deviation below the mean and then two standard deviations below the mean. Let me just clean that up a little bit, right? So we were one standard deviation below the mean, this distance is one standard deviation, and then this distance is one standard deviation, this distance is one standard deviation, and this distance is one standard deviation. So what that means then is that that total distance equals four standard deviations. I hope that makes sense to you because each time here I'm subtracting, if I go to the left, I'm subtracting a, a standard deviation. If I go to the right, I'm adding a standard deviation. <clears throat> So let's see the areas that we think roughly capture 95% of this data. Well, maybe maybe 95% of the data is like here. Oops, I did it again. Maybe it's like right around here, maybe. So maybe we would say that this value is at like 3,100. And then maybe we think if we look over here, maybe it's around here. And so maybe it's 5,600. Okay. So if we do that, then if we want to figure out what the standard deviation is, we will need to do, we would need to take the larger value, subtract the smaller value, and then we're going to have to set that equal to four times the standard deviation. Because we know that that total distance is going to equal four standard deviations. Remember, we, we talked about this just a second ago, that that whole distance is going to be four standard deviation. And that is an S. That is not a uh, that is not a five, 
just make it try to make it a little more clear. I don't know if I made it any clearer. So 5,600 minus uh, 3,100 is about 2,500. And then that's going to be 4S. So if we want to figure out what the standard deviation is, we're going to take 2,500. And we're going to divide that by 4. And that's going to give us our standard deviation. And so that will give us, um, I think, that should give us 775. Let me just verify that. Oops, that is very wrong. That will give us 625, of course, because it's going to uh, do 1250, not 1500, which is what I had in my head for some reason. So we would estimate the standard deviation to be 625. We would estimate the mean to be 4400.